it's a good feeling to be here, a good feeling to see what they've done since the buildings were demolished. I like the chairs. I think it's a, it's a fitting memorial, as fitting as any memorial could be to somebody who died such a horrific death. Go through it, go through it slowly, um, learn as much as you can, read all of the material, um, understand that that was not just an isolated event that happened in Oklahoma City, that could happen in any city in the United States. For me as an educator, see the Oklahoma City bombing happened when I was in seventh grade, and most of my kids are seventh graders, and they were about one year old or two months, something of that sort, and they never really understood it. She was just a baby when this happened, and I it was impacted me so much because the same age as so many kids that were hurt, and so she can. Uh, feel the emotions that I did too. This is a good example of tolerance. When they went in there and saw how all the Oklahomans got together, how the whole world came together to show that they were united, it taught the kids there's tolerance out there and they need to spread the tolerance around. For a lot of kids and my friends and whoever else comes, I think that'll just show them that if, even if you are mad at like the government, bombing a place where so many innocent people could get killed or hurt isn't the way to handle it. We think it happens other places. We don't think it happens here. And so hopefully it'll, it'll make them more tolerant of each other and um, make them better people. The physical part of the memorial is just completely captures perfectly the, the emotions and the feelings. It makes me want to go home and hug my wife and my little boy. And I'm sure the families feel very good to see a lot of people here knowing people remember. Come see it. It's worth a visit.